everyone, welcome back to The Things. It's your host Nora, and in this video, I'll be taking you through all the juicy details we can expect in the new season of Dance Moms. ALDC is back. That's right guys, Dance Moms will be back for a season eight with a whole new set of fresh faces and competitive little dancers. For all the confirmed newcomers that you guys can expect to see and all the latest drama on Abby and the OG team, you guys better keep on watching. Nothing quite screams drama like the past seven seasons of the Dance Moms world. I don't like mommies playing dancing school. Get that straight. Many fans have always speculated the drama to be either set up by producers or completely blown out of proportion. Except this time, the off-screen drama is giving it a run for its money. Abby Lee has always been the face of the series since it aired almost seven years ago. You guys are two for two. So fans everywhere were pretty shocked to hear that she was sentenced to 366 days in prison for bankruptcy fraud. Things then took a devastating turn for the worse when fans received the news that Abby was also battling cancer. Answer as well. At this point, Abby had already sworn off of Dance Moms and even called out the producers of the show. She said that she was being manipulated, disrespected, and used by men who had never taken a dance lesson in their lives and treated women like dirt. Now, while Abby's speech was pretty convincing, she is actually confirmed to be back on the Dance Mom scene, starring in season eight. I fought hard to be here, and you have to be a fighter too. She's going to be joined by her new competitive team that she's already confirmed on her Instagram. Before we get started on the different backstories, behind all the dancers, here are some fun facts about the upcoming season. This is going to be the first season of the show that does not feature any of the original cast. This will now break Nina and Holly's seven season streak of appearances on the show. Two fan favorites who will also not be returning are Eliana Walmsley, who is part of the Minis group, and Macy Case. This is probably because Eliana will be too busy starring on Dancing with the Stars Jr. and following all of her Broadway dreams. As for Macy, she isn't doing too bad herself and even says that she has no bad blood with Abby at all. She posted a very sweet message to her Instagram saying that she was very grateful for Abby and all of her time on Dance Moms. Despite being asked to return for a season 8, she will be moving on from the Lifetime series to pursue some bigger projects. Even though we've had to say goodbye to most of our favorite original dancers, there is still definitely a story to be told and more drama to unfold. Some of the questions we can't wait to see answered are things like, will Abby be a changed person after everything she's been through? Will any of the OGs make a guest appearance? And will we be getting any closure on Abby's relationships with all of the previous dancers and their moms? I want to know what some of your burning questions are, so be sure to leave them in the comments section. I'll be sure to check them out. If you really want to grab our attention, be sure to leave your favorite dance emoji next to your comment. This one's definitely my fave. Now in one of Abby's posts, she mentions that filming will be taking place back in the original studio in Pittsburgh. She also warns that the new dancers should be prepared to withstand the Pittsburgh cold to make it to the final cut. That's right guys, Abby is back with her everyone's replaceable attitude. And watch out. Especially seeing as all the confirmed dancers have still got to earn their Abby Lee Dance Company official jackets. And we all know how long that can take. Another detail of the show that has many fans upset is the fact that Abby chose to hold open call auditions for her show instead of choose dancers from her actual studio. As you guys might have noticed from the season 8 roster, the dancers she has chosen were already very involved in the dance world. Unlike the previous girls, most of them already have tons of experience in the entertainment industry. Aside from Lily Ketchman, who made her dance skills very well known from her season 7 debut as a mini dancer. We have 13 year old Giannina from New Jersey who is a perfect example of this and has already starred in a ton of productions. This includes working on the Broadway show Matilda, dancing for Mariah Carey at the Rockefeller Christmas Tree Lighting, and even joining Mariah Carey on her diva tour. If you were really paying attention, you might have even noticed her playing a ballerina in one of the scenes of The Greatest Showman. Now this is the same movie that starred Zac Efron and Zendaya, so that is a pretty big deal for a girl her age. The rest of the team includes Cutie, Hannah Collin, the adorable Presley Hotsback, the gorgeous Sarah Georgiana, the talented Savannah Sue, and of course the fierce Brady Farrar who will be having no trouble keeping up with the ladies. Brady is going to be the first boy to become an official and starring member of the Dance Moms cast. This ultra competitive team is going to make for some great entertainment and I just can't wait to see what they bring to the table. A few thoughts I have on the upcoming season is that we will probably be seeing some of our favorite originals be back for a few episodes at a time like some dancers have done in the past. My guess is that we will definitely be seeing more of Eliana and Macy once we begin 
to clear their schedules and finish up all their other entertainment contracts. It looks like Abby has been spending a ton of time with our favorite starlet here at The Thinks, Jojo Siwa, telling me that there might be a chance we'll even see her on the upcoming season. If you've seen some of Jojo's latest vlogs, you'll know that her dance skills have gotten a bit rusty, but it's nothing that her bubbly personality and star quality can't make up for. I wouldn't count on her leaving Los Angeles for too long though since she's already got an enormous YouTube channel to keep up with. What I hope won't be happening in the upcoming season is another set of two competing teams like we saw with the minis. I would much rather prefer to see all of these dancers dance together. What do you guys think? It was also pretty cool watching Kalani teach some choreo to the minis back in the previous season, so I would definitely love to see her or Kendall come back and teach some choreo to the new squad. I cannot wait for the show to start filming, which Abby has officially confirmed will be the end of January, and I will definitely be part of the millions of fans tuning in shamelessly and loving every second of it. Be sure to let me know in the comments section what your predictions are. I think it's safe to say that we are all definitely happy for Abby's recovery and cannot wait to meet the new stars she's about to make. It's your host Snore, and don't forget to hit me up on social media and feel free to even let me know what you guys would like us to cover next. See you guys in our next video!